this is Rosa Kelly and I am here today with a new mini album tutorial for JS Hobbies and Crafts. Now this time I want to make a super special album for Mother's Day and this collection is just perfect for that. So I'm going to be using The Romantic Time by Chao Vela and let me just give you a quick, quick look. I did do a haul video on this but I just want to show you the beautiful design with the flowers and the lace. It is very romantic but also very very sweet for those special pictures that you want to give to your mom or your grandmother. Isn't this just adorable and so elegant and classic? Um, so I'm also going to be using some beautiful flowers to embellish the album. These are the 49 and Market Garden Seeds. Uh, the natural blush and also the blossom blends which are my favorite because it's just got such a beautiful shabby and earthy look to them i'm going to be um here's also some of these beautiful white flowers these you will find on the website uh with this code i will link everything on the description box below so you guys can find it easily i am going to be using this beautiful applique piece look how gorgeous love this um, and some flat back pearls and i also want this album to be mixed media because this collection just inspires me that so i'm going to be using this beautiful um, rose stencil also you will find on the website and they have different styles as well i'm going to be using some texture paste and then just some uh, different acrylic paints this one is opal magic by prima and this one is opal magic yellow uh, i think this one is oh yeah so this is the pink blue and this is the yellow blue so i'm gonna be mixing this up to give it a little bit more soft tone to that i'm gonna be using some magnets and of course some chipboard and some cardstock so let's get started with so this we are going to start the cover with this chipboard i'm going to cut two pieces of seven by seven which is going to be the size of my album so i'm just going to flip this to the other side and this chipboard cuts really smooth i really like it so i'm gonna do again seven and I like this size because I think it's going to be like a cute, chunky little album. And the spine, I'm going to do a three and a half inch spine. So it's going to be seven by three and a half. So I have my chipboard pieces and now I'm going to use two sheets from the collection. I, I'm using two separate collections. So I grab the same one, one for from each. Um, and I decided to just do the binding straight into the design paper because it is a very sturdy type of paper and I think it will hold really good. So I'm just gonna put these two pieces together using some double-sided tape. Just gonna do do this like that cut that out and let me just take off the tape and join these two together i love this design and i love the fact that it kind of when you put it together it looks like one whole piece look at that so nice okay so now i'm just adding some double-sided tape into my chipboard pieces so now I'm taking off the tape and just adding the spine first right in the middle of the two sheets that we put together. And then I'm going to place the next two kind of separated a little bit just like that and like this. And this distance here is probably about an eighth of an inch. Okay. So now I'm just going to trim the excess here on the sides. And do one and this one too. Okay, so now we can go ahead and start wrapping these. So we're gonna start by bending your cardstock slowly like this. You kind of want to massage the paper so it won't crack. And then once you got that bent, then you're gonna press down 
like that and I'm gonna do the same for all the sides so now I'm just gonna trim each one of the corners like that make sure you leave just a little bit of room between the paper and the chipboard and once I have that I'm going to add my tape on the four sides so now I'm going to remove the tape first for the long sides start with that one okay like this and now we're gonna do the smaller size now before we do the smaller size um, go ahead and bend it again and then if your corners are sticking out, make sure you tuck that in just with your nails. Like so, and now we can go ahead and take off the tape and place this down. Okay, so then I'll do the same here. Okay, so now we're just gonna mark here on the gaps to just help the paper bend easily. And we have the outside cover of our album. I love this size. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab some cards and I'm going to need four pieces of six and a half by six and a half. And we're gonna save all the extras to create our flaps, okay? So we're gonna need four of that size and we are going to need four of six and a half by seven and a half and we're gonna need four of those as well now we're gonna grab the piece that measures six and a six and a half by seven and a half and we are going to score along the seven and a half inch at half an inch and seven inches okay so you want a piece like this and we're gonna do the same for all four pieces. So now we're gonna fold along the score lines, these half an inch pieces on both sides. And we are going to add our double-sided tape. The double-sided tape that I use measures 3 eighths of an inch. And it is the perfect size because um, if you use the half an inch tape, you have a little bit left over here. So this one is perfect so I'm just gonna add the tape on the other side just like this and now I'm gonna grab the other piece that measures six and a half by six and a half and I'm just going to place it on top and make sure that all the corners match up and I'm gonna peel off a corner here take off this tape and now I'm just gonna hold it and take off the rest of the tape. I'm gonna flip this around. I'm gonna hold the center to avoid getting any bubbles on the middle. Make sure it's nice and flat. And now we're gonna press down and take off the other tape. And now we have the first page. So we're gonna do the same for all the pages here. Okay, so now I have my four pages. And I'm gonna use some of the scrap pieces. And if you started with a 12 by 12 um, piece of cardstock, you will have the same size. But if not, I'll let you know, um, these pieces are six and a half by five and a half. Okay, so these were my leftovers. Um, so I'm just going to grab my scoreboard and um, I have four of these. So I'm going to use these first before I cut into a new sheet of paper. So I'm going to score half an inch all of these ones. And now I'm gonna fold along that score line and add some of my tape, just like this. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same to all of these pieces here. Okay, so now I'm going to start by placing these ones. I'm just gonna take off a bit of the tape here and I'm gonna place one on the top center of my page. Make sure that your insert is to the side. 
okay or your opening so I'm gonna do one on the top then I'm gonna peel off the tape and do one on the bottom make sure that is um, aligned to the one on the top okay and then I'm going to do one on the top again here we go okay make sure it's aligned take off the rest of the tape and now I'm going to do one more on the bottom just like this okay so now we have some kind of waterfall <laughs> that opens different ways like so now let's work on the design on the back okay so i'm gonna grab another piece of my scraps and i'm just gonna cut these at seven and a half and these measures uh, five and a half okay so i'm going to be making a pocket with that and then i'm gonna grab another one and i'm also gonna cut these uh, well actually i'm gonna cut these at six and a half but i'm gonna leave it at five and a half here so now let me grab my scoreboard and show you what we're gonna do so what i'm thinking on doing is like i said a pocket but i'm going to make a flap on my pocket so i'm just going to score the first piece at half an inch seven inches and at half an inch again to create this uh, pocket so now i'm gonna cut corners just like so and the second piece i'm just gonna place this along the five and a half inch side and score half an inch so i'm gonna bend this along the score line and i'm going to add my double-sided tape just like so okay and now the first piece i'm just gonna fold along the score lines here again to add my pocket okay so i'm just going to press this down just like so and when i add my pockets i prefer to use my glue and i always use the art glitter glue because it dries really fast and it does not uh, wrap your paper so i'm grabbing i'm using the back side of the first sheet and i'm gonna place the pocket here okay so i'm just gonna add my glue to all the sides and i'm gonna place this down okay just like that so i like the glue because you can move it around you know and adjust it all right so now i'm gonna grab the second piece that we did and i'm gonna place it on top here on the top side of my pocket so let me just clear or take off the tape here and just align it on the top of the pocket okay just like so and now i'm just gonna hold this and take the tape off so then this will open up like that and this is also a pocket here all right so now let's move on to the next so for the next page i'm grabbing a new 12 by 12 um, sheet of paper and I'm going to cut these at six and a half by seven. Okay, just like that. And then this piece here, my leftover, measures five by six and a half. And I'm going to cut another one that will measure six and a half by five. Okay. So I need to trim this. So I have two pieces of five by six and a half, and I have one piece of six and a half by seven. And I am going to 
grab my scoreboard. All right, so let's start with the first one, the large one. I'm just gonna place along my scoreboard at seven inches and score half an inch on that one. And the other two, I'm gonna place along the five inch side and just score a half an inch for both of these. Okay, so now we're gonna fold along the score lines and add our tape. Okay, so now I have the next page. Make sure that your opening is to the sides. And I'm going to just use the first one, peel off the tape, and I'm going to place this along the top here. Just like that. Make sure that it's aligned the best you can. And now we're going to take off the tape, and we have our first opening. And now I'm going to flip this and do flaps to the side. So I'm going to start with the first one on the left, just like that. And the next one on the right. So as you can see, the page construction for this mini album is very simple. Um, and it's going to be all about the embellishments. I'm very excited to work with some mixed media uh, techniques for this album. Okay, so now let's work on the next. So for the next page, I'm going to go back to my scrap pieces and I'm gonna use this long one. And this measures 12 by five and a half. So I'm going to trim this at seven and a half. Okay, so this will be five and a half by seven and a half. And I'm going to score half an inch along both sides of the seven and a half. So I'm going to do half an inch and seven. And I'm just gonna fold along the score line and add some tape. So now I'm taking off just a bit of the tape and I'm gonna place this on the top and center of my flap. Make sure your opening is to the side again. And we're just creating a little uh, belly band here. So I'm just gonna remove the tape and I'm gonna do the same on this side. So let me just remove the tape and press down and we take that out. So now for this page, we have an insert here, a belly band, and then we're gonna decorate the front. Now for the back, I'm going to be creating a waterfall, but I'm going to wait to put my design paper and I'm gonna be using these scrap pieces. So save your scrap pieces and we'll work on this page later. So now let's move on to the next one. For this page, I'm also gonna be using my scrap pieces because I like using all my scraps before I cut into new sheets. So I'm going to trim these two at seven, sorry, six and a half, okay? So this, this measures five and a half. So this will be five and a half by six and a half. And I'm also gonna be using these two pieces left over there. Um, so now I'm gonna grab my scoreboard once again and I'm gonna start with this one. So now this measures five and a half by five and a half. So I'm just gonna score at half an inch these two pieces. Just like that. And I'm also gonna be scoring half an inch the first two pieces along the five and a half inch side okay so now we have these four pieces that I'm going to fold along the score line and add my tape so now I'm gonna start with the small ones and again make sure that your openings are to the side and I'm going to place one on the top and one on the bottom so let's make sure these are on the center like that Okay, and so that's the one on the top. Now for the one on the bottom, you want to make sure that it is 
align to the top just like so now we're gonna take off this tape and now I'm gonna open this up and place the ones on the side so I'm gonna start with the left Mm -hmm. Okay, just like so. Okay, make sure it's straight. And I'm just going to remove the tape here. And then I'll do the same for this other one. Okay. So, make sure that when you place this down... It's not interfering with the bending here. Like on this one, it doesn't. See how they're kind of side to side? On this one, I might have to go on top. So to avoid any conflict, <laughs> I'm just gonna trim the corners just like that. Okay, so we're just gonna do these two little notches just to avoid any touching from the other side. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm just gonna remove this tape. So let me open it and show you how by cutting that little piece, these two are not touching and we can still close this down. I'm gonna close it like this and like so. Okay, and now let's work on the back of this. So for the back, I'm going to create a double pocket. And I'll show you how to do that the easiest way that I know. So again, I'm gonna start with my scrap piece here and I'm gonna cut these at seven and a half. All right, so now that I have that, I'm gonna cut these again at two inches. Okay, so now this measures seven and a half by five and a half. And now I'm gonna cut long ways two inches okay so now i'm gonna grab these two pieces and i'm gonna start with the two inch one and i'm just gonna score at half and at seven okay so half an inch on each side and the second one i'm going to do half an inch seven and i'm gonna turn this around and do half an inch so this is the bottom of the pocket and I just do that so now I have these two pieces okay so now I'm gonna start by folding along my score line just like so and this and like this okay so I'm gonna start with the small one and I'm just gonna add some glue in here in my flaps and I'm gonna place it kind of in the center just like so okay and now I'm going to do the same just add my glue on the bottom part of the pocket okay and now I'm just gonna place this one right on top of that one along the bottom just like that so now we have an easy double pocket on this page see that super easy so i hope that you guys enjoy uh, this first part of this tutorial um, on the next part we're gonna put all the pages into our album and do our hinges and then we're just gonna decorate the cover and the pages so i want to thank you so much for watching please don't forget to visit js hobbies and crafts where you can get all the supplies that you need to make this mini album yourself and i want to thank you for watching see you next time bye bye